Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at some examples illustrating how to multiply different signals and add those products. Given the following original signals, this x of t, x of t, given by a Gaussian signal, given by a Gaussian signal that is not zero between minus two and plus two. So this is minus two and this is plus two and the peak is at zero. So this is x of t. And next we have the unit step signal that is u of t, which is basically one for values of time t greater than zero. So this is u of t and the value is one. So given these two signals, let us find the following products. The first one is x of t multiplied by u of t which is basically straightforward product of these two signals. And since x of t is basically a Gaussian signal between minus 2 and plus 2 and u of t is equal to 1 for values of time greater than 0, so it should be somewhere here. Then the product is given by the value of the Gaussian signal between 0 and 2. We and the product is 0 for values of t less than 0 and values of t greater than 2. So this is equal to, so the peak is still at 0, and the minimum at 2, and the rest of the value is 0. Therefore, x of t into u of t is equal to x of t for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than as illustrated by this figure. This is a t grade. This is x of t multiplied by u of t. Next, let us look at x of t multiplied by u of 1 minus t. So for that, we need u of 1 minus t. So in order to find u of 1 minus t, we need u of minus t, which is equal to 1 for values of time less than 0, which is basically a reversal of the original u of t. Then u of 1 minus t is basically the same signal just shifted towards right by one unit. So it is equal to u of 1 minus t. Even though there is a positive value 1, this is shifted towards right because it is actually equal to minus of t minus 1. So since it is t minus 1, we have a shift towards right. Now, when we multiply this signal with x of t, that is x of t minus 2 plus 2, and then we have u of 1 minus t is u of 1 minus t, and this is x of t. So the product is equal to the value of the signal up to this point, that is 1, and the value is 0 after 1. So this is the product x of t into u of 1 minus t, x of t multiplied by u of 1. Therefore, x of t multiplied by u of 1 minus t is equal to x of t for t less than or equal to 1 and 0 for t greater than 1. Now let us find the sum of the products x of t into u of 1 minus t with x of 2 minus t multiplied by u of 1 minus t. We already know the product x of t with u of 1 minus t, which is given by this signal, that is this notation, or this formula. Next, we need x of 2 minus t into u of 1 minus t. x of 2 minus t is basically equal to x of minus of t minus 2 which is basically a right shift for the signal x of t or in this case x of minus t since x of t is equal to x of minus t. So it should look like this and so the shift value is 2. So the starting point becomes 0 and the end point becomes 4 and the peak is looking 2. So this is x of 2 minus t. Now if we multiply this with u of 1 minus t, we basically have, which is u of 1 minus t. So, the signal, the product is only from 0 to 
1. So this is equal to this is 0 and this is 1. This is the product x of 2 minus t with u of 1 minus t. The rest of the value is 0. So the product can be written as x of 2 minus t into u of 1 minus t is equal to x of 2 minus t for values of t between 0 and 1 and 0 elsewhere. Now if we add this signal that is x of 2 minus t in the u of 1 minus t with the signal here that is x of t into u of 1 minus t which is valid from minus 2 to plus 1 that is which is non-zero from minus 2 to plus 1 so it is minus 2 to plus 1 and it is 0 elsewhere this is x of t into u of 1 minus so if you add these two signals the sum should look like up to 0 it will have the same structure from 0 basically it will have an increment equal to this product. This is the sum of x of t with u of 1 minus t plus x of 2 minus t into u of 1 minus t. This is minus 2, this is 0 and this is 1. Therefore, the sum y of t given by the sum of these two products is equal to x of t for t less than or equal to 0 and then x of t plus x of 2 minus t for t between 0 and 1 and 0 for t greater than 1. Thus we can use simple graphical representation for multiplying and adding different signals. Thanks for watching.